Happy Holidays. And I'd like to talk today a little bit briefly about putting the holy back in holidays. And first, of course, we all know that the holidays are a good time to think about what they really mean and not just get lost in rampant consumerism or our obligations to send out cards and fulfill social obligations like go to many cocktail parties we may not want to be at. But try to do something for someone else or listen to somebody, perhaps an in-law at holiday meals or somebody that you have difficulty with. Listen to them with a little more patience and see if you can see things through their eyes for a moment. That's a good practice of giving of yourself, of caritas, self-generosity, self-giving. That would be a good way to put the holy back in holidays. And another thing would be to give yourself a little time, some time, to take care of yourself. Give yourself the gift of time and space, sometime during the holidays, so you're not always on the treadmill of events, rushing forward, trying to get through your entire to-do list. And another thing, we give yourself something to do that you would really love, like perhaps um, go for a massage or to your spa or hot tub or take a walk in nature or read something that you've long put off. Well, do something for yourself. And third, I want to mention, and this perhaps could make every day into a holiday, is to be more present. Don't dissociate yourself from where you are. Take a breath, take a breather, take a break. Settle into and inhabit the present moment, the holy now. That's how every day can be Sabbath, a day of rest. We can find a moment of peace tranquility, serenity, and centeredness any moment in the day. Take a breath, take a break, put the holy back in holidays every day. Thank you.